Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Indiana Hoosiers. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like an M&M, but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Hoosiers should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second, get the ball on the interior. See if he can get that big man into foul trouble. And finally, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The small forward takes the feed. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Yeah, and I say it all the time. It makes life much easier when you have a guy in your roster who can make these types of plays. Gave it up. He fakes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Top of the circle makes it. job defensively they just won't get many openings pressure in the basketball inside and he'll kick it back outside fakes the shot from right in the circle comes up short he'll regroup the offense he stole the ball great pressure there fantastic ball pressure the pressure got to the ball handler and he lost it Looking for a good shot. Defense giving some room. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Great play to take that to the basket. the dribble gives it up fed the low block top of the circle they work it around the perimeter tries one from three-point land he buries it on the outside wide open for the shot that's a foul and he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Has a nice look at the basket for two. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Inside, the power forward takes the pass. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. It sticks. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He looks at the hoop. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. it inside fake goes up for two I tell you once you get deep position like that it's automatic the Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post you're right Brad there is a mismatch with the catch nice execution on the spin I tell you great spin move to the basket Great anticipation defensively. The point guard gets the pass. For the bucket, they still don't score. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. 
They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. The frustration right there. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. He puts it in with contact and all. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brady's on fire. The power forward gets the ball. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. Now they work it around the perimeter. Ball handler's in trouble. Got the high pick. The small forward with the ball on the outside. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. Got some room from the baseline. Way off target. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Both teams looking to get things going here. Stolen ball. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Up and inside. For two. Perfectly executed. That's an eight-nothing run. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Off the rim and no good. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Gant is fired up right now emotionally. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. And the fans are going wild. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Gave it up. Nice high post screen. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Turnaround jumper, in and out. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the fake here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer that is a dagger in the heart that shot Dick hey they lost focus here they need a timeout to regroup Brad Turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top.
Given picks up the defensive foul. First personal foul. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He steps up to the line. It's good. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBA. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. They're working around the perimeter. Picked out of the air with a quarterback pass. They're working around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. They work it back to the outside. Intercepted. Gave it up. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. He gets the bucket to fall. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For three, makes the shot. teams are looking to get something going here gave it up Dick not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him there's a nice block from behind Dick yeah that's good timing for the defense let's see if they can get a good shot this trip the ball goes out of bounds Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, in this David versus Goliath matchup, the stronger team is capitalizing on the turnovers and lack of defense. All right, thanks, Aaron. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That's a 10 nothing run. Still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick? Well, you gotta think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He bombs from outside. This one looks like it might be over early, Dick. Can't argue that so far, but there's still a lot of ball left. Team now, bad angle. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. 
The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead the layups. Looking for the foul. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. Shoots from outside. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Harm and foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Rims off. Hits the second. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Defense! 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 From the top of the key, he hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. That screen away. And he scores despite the hack. Fakes it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. We need to see that again, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the three. from long range. You betcha. Show me that one again. Looking for a good shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the circle. He rips it from downtown. the outside shots there if he wants it for two and off the mark
Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Kicks off the lazy pass. Got numbers right here. I think they're trying to make a statement. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He can't miss. Eddie Shepman's feeling it, man. Now they're working around the perimeter. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Gave it up. Dump it inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. The man is off the charts, Brad. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. For the bucket. He shoots from outside. Goes. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. Here's a flash from the high post. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Up and inside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He drains it. Shot clock is dead. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's electrifying in here. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. At the half, the Hawkeyes trail by 37. Now 
Let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Indiana shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution. Paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job, the underdog, of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because at the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did early. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? In the paint. Get that sucker out of the game, man. There's a high screen. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Moving it around the perimeter. Pump fakes. Looking for a screen on top and got it. For the bucket. In and out. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. Look at these fans. They're loving it. It's crazy in here, Brad. Here's a double team for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. There's a slam. That helps got to come quicker. Hey, very slow on a double team, Brad. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. in front to take it away puts up the shot way off target they'll work it around the arc tries for two perfectly executed the Hawkeyes trail by 41 five second call approaching With the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Steals a pass. For the deuce. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from left of the circle. He drains the bucket. Let's take a look right here. Strips the ball loose. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They work it around the perimeter. 
Time to pick up the defense here now. Trying to draw the foul. Gets it to go. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nice shot. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. The ruckus fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Looking for a good shot. With a bucket, knocks it down. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. Here's the three ball. He can't get the bucket to fall. He puts it in with contact and all. The Hawkeyes are behind by 39. Up and inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two, makes it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He attempts the three, buried it. Up fake. Double team now, bad angle. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Fast break opportunity here. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. In the paint. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your team's play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He shoots from the top of the key. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Moving it around the perimeter. Pushing that basketball, help one another. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to how talented guards are there. Yeah, that helps. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. The Hawkeyes have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice defensive rebound. They clear the head in transition. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. 
They strip him of the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Picked off. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They're working around the perimeter. Fires away. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. It sticks. There's a double team waiting there. Unloads. Scorches the net. it fly. He gets that one to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Gave it up. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. There's the trap. Too much. That's a foul. Great shot. The Hoosiers are ahead by 34. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of it. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy deuce. Tries for two. It's no good. And off the mark. Here's a double team. Got the shot if he wants it. Sinks the shot. Picked out of the air. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. He tries the three ball, gets it to go. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. Wang draws the person. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. 
you end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Dumps it in. Strips the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. And the jam. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Oh, I could agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. It's another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Long lead pass from way outside. He shows the sweet touch. On the outside. He goes for three. That's good. Intercepted. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Picks off the lazy pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like, oh, yeah. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. It. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. Jumped in front to take it away. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. They work the perimeter. Hobbs in the post. Trying to draw some contact. <laughs> Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. He strips him clean. Double team now, bad angle. He tries to knock down the three. Sinks it.
takes it off him. Well, he puts pressure on a defense. What a great point guard. I love point guards that can really attack the defense. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line, shooting two. First one is good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Picked off. Cross court. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He launches a three. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Let's get back out on the floor. How can you not love this game? And that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Takes away the pass. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. For two. In and out. A lot of pressure on a basketball. Way to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him. Beat him to his spot. Number 44 with the fake. And now they'll bring it up. Stolen ball. Fast break possibility coming. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Screen so effective that screen tries for two. He grabs the rebound. <laughs> Controlling the ball. Ten on the shot clock. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Shot clock is dead. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Isn't it great, Brad? Dick, it 
seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. Indiana takes a huge win by a large margin tonight. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.